I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think, if anything, dead sex showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sex more frightening than the different gangs in London, like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downey Street. They want to keep us scared, harness us with, with mind control, suck every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and, and even the death will sell off our bodies. I want... Shit. Situation is worse than I thought. Ah. Uh. But there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope.
glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our... Last safe house. Meet me there. All right. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Received. Moving in hostile's direction. Anyone have visual? Anyone? I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. As long as I don't have to cut my pants and unlock some itch and blood seal, we should be fine. See you downstairs later then. Wish me luck.
Hello? Anyone there? I better get the power back on. Set registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Sabine sent me. I'm a friend. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DeadSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DeadSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. It. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DeadSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Who could be brazen enough to set DeadSec up for the bombings? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DeadSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Well, Ross Clot, I'm glad you're still with us. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition here would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Listen to me. As far as London is concerned, DeadSec is responsible for the bombings. And anyone still working for them is persona non grata. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DeadSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Well, sometimes you have to do what's right. Excellent! New user registered! Welcome to DeadSec! Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DeadSec kit.
we have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Nice one! Couldn't have done that better myself. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Yes! Nice one! That's it! Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Nice one!
just trying to keep up with me. Everybody just relax. Sod off. I need my full attention. You were about burning. You want some of this? I can smell your smell. I can smell your smell. I can smell your smell. Oh, fine, I'm going. Right, gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent Deadset now. Where would you like me to get started? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. Albion's abused their authority to consolidate power. They're holding on to it by keeping everyone afraid. So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? Anything you need, Sabine. Me there for you. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. What's his deal, Box? He's an activist who's been trying to gather intel on Albion personnel movements through the city. Looks like he wants to stay one step ahead of the goons. Smart. He might be useful. Let us help him out. Understood. The easiest way to obtain the data would be to steal an Albion heavy assault vehicle and dissect it on board Satnav. That would give us a clear picture of Albion's recent movements. I'll make it happen. on that fam. They are permitted to use legal force when necessary. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled.
Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. Now that Albion has control of the courts, they can arrest and prosecute anyone they want to eliminate. You now have to kill someone just to silence them. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation. Stop to this! All right, there was shotgun. You better watch out. What do you have, Bagley? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the fuck? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people. This looks... A little beer. What's the point of risking your neck out there if you don't get any credit for it? Paste-ups let the people of London know that DedSec is back, and the increased visibility might even encourage some of them to donate to the cause.
Looks good. No results. Report back to HQ. Sight of the target. Over. Received. Returning to HQ. Over. Oh, no. 
the apps to block your tracking or CTOS activity is illegal and dangerous. Unauthorized programs to keep on full to digital attacks and compromise the security. The Albion propaganda machine is hard at work. They've rebranded. They claim the city is under their protection, but really, it's just a way to make the people more comfortable with their control. It's going to be that much less once you're done here. Let's give Camden a break from these eyesores. I'm onto it. <laughs> Suspect or suspects reported near your location. You want to receive uh, mobilizing now. Out. No sign of the target. Over. <laughs> Received. We are in pursuit. We are pursuing the target. Control. I've lost the target. Ah! Can anyone see the suspect? If you hijack that scissor lift, you could use it to access the rooftop. Any other patrols have eyes on the suspect, over? Drones deployed to arrest the suspect. Suspect is unsighted, unsighted sweeping area. Be advised, we are on the trail.
Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What no? We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Give me those coordinates. I heard that you need some help. Why well, go on? Your recruiter's been sticking it to Albion. Can't believe someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you? Taking action, mate. If you stand by and do nothing, you're just as guilty as the one who pulled the trigger. We need to show the people it's possible to resist Albion. They don't have to give up or give in. We can rise and stop them. If we don't stop them now, this will only get worse. You have something for us? Almost got clip finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. I won't argue that. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross to the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics centre. Materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. 
You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that place. Put it out of commission, and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere! That's our move, then. Albion's operational plans are just what we needed to really get some traction. We'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? Albion's housed a massive hybrid power generator in there. Output must be immense. You cause a power surge in that base and boom! I thought this place was close to the public. How are you getting your information? It cost me a news drive. OK, maybe three, but it's worth it if this comes... to that generator ain't gonna be easy. They've locked it up tighter since I last saw. Any ideas? My news drones are still in here. They should be functional. You can use one of them. Probably have better luck piloting it too, yeah? Well, causing a power surge in a hybrid power generator isn't like making a toasty. We're going to need detailed specifications. We gotta see about this. Look at this. Cool, looks bloody complicated. News he's got a pretty functional camera. Would a picture do you, Bagley? It would indeed. According to this, there's an override code that'll get us into the generator's system. That's it. Use the code on the generator and I can trigger a power surge. It should be enough to take King's Cross offline. And the rail system too. Here we go. of information out of St Pancras. Albion convoys, informants, gear, you name it. Everything we need to ignite the people of London, like we did in Camden. Derail Albion's operations and give the people a reason to rise up borough by borough. The more we do that, the more we'll get allies flocking to the cause. We'll show London that DedSec is here for them. That was off the chain, mate. I knew DedSec weren't the bad guys Albion was saying. Now the rest of Camden will too. Thanks. Thanks. 
Now that you've shown the borough what DedSec is really all about, there are going to be folks wanting to join up. A lot of people have been looking for a way to fight back. In fact, there's one in particular I suspect will contact you very soon. I happen to know they're champion at the bit. DedSec can always use more support. Tell your friend we welcome the help. <laughs>